Hey everybody, I am going to share with you hopefully a quick-ish tutorial of, uh, not really a tutorial, but a, here's how I edit um, a post I put in the picture share and shared on my Instagram um, this recently. And this is the final product. This was the straight out of camera. And this is a pullback of where it was shot. It was a different time of day when I took this pullback. So it was morning, as you can see, the sun is shining on the trees instead of through the trees. Um, so uh, it was morning. I think the next day I was like, oh man, I forgot to take a pullback. So I went out and did it the following morning. And um, yeah, so that's where we are. Um, as you can see in my straight out of uh, camera, it's much more underexposed, much cooler than my final product. So we're going to hopefully get from here to here, at least close to it. Um, and you can see the process. I shot this with my Canon Mark IV. And the lens was the Lens Baby Sweet um, Optic. Sweet 50, I believe, is what I used for this. And as you can see, the focal point is right here in the center. Um, and everything else with the Swede, it, it kind of flares outwardly from the center focus. Um, I think I probably was using my Spark, which allows you to kind of bend where your focal point is as well, and uh, not necessarily center, center point focus. So anyway, it's really fun. I love those optics, um, and that Spark is really a fun thing to use. Uh, so anyhow, let's get started. So here we are. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the develop module and go down and click on the chromatic aberration and the profile uh, corrections. And it just, it kind of brought it in. Um, as you can see, it kind of does, it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, let's see, I actually hit the wrong thing. So on the lens baby, it doesn't, my, my Lightroom does not have the uh, sweet optics in there. It just uses a velvet profile. So it doesn't do a whole lot for me. So anyway, um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I kind of wrote down what I did on the previous one and uh, I went up to my shadows and I raised them quite a bit trying to lighten that up on the uh, outskirts of the of the frame and then I raised the temp quite a bit I don't think I used the dropper I tend to uh, forget to check my white balance. I shoot Kelvin and sadly I forget to choose to, uh, to check that a lot. So, um, I'm going to put that up in about the mid seven thousands, I think is what I ended up 75, 7,400 or so. Let's do that. Um, I know I always go to the texture and raise that because I really like to get some of that some more of that definition uh, clarity I know I pump that up pretty well so we'll do that uh, dehaze I did a dehaze just a little bit um, vibrance I know I put up to get the color boosted just a little bit um, and here is where next I took the radio filter and I kind of put up here in the center-ish, and I like to make it kind of big and kind of wide and really enhance. I need to clear that out by double-clicking on the effect, and I enhance. I warm it up a little bit, and I also am going to expose. That's going to give me basically my sunshine of what's you know, I like to boost that sun and create a little bit more of a sunshine. And as you can see, that really amps that up. Here's the finished product again. And here's where we're at so far. 
And as you can see, I crop it quite a bit coming up. I haven't messed with that yet. Um, so I am going to then go down and we'll get out of that radial filter. I'm going to go down to the orange and yellows, adjust those a little bit. I like it. Um, I think I'm going to make the yellows a little more yellow as opposed to the green. And then the orange is a little orange or as opposed Let's see, right there, actually I'll go to the yellow. So that we're gonna do that. Uh, it looks as though I then work on a little bit of some blue and green. Gonna make that a little greener. Um, decrease, the blues don't really make any difference. Um, now I'm going to see how we crop it. I think I bring that quite a bit in. I think that might be close. Let's try that. Let's see what our first one was, a finished product. And here's this one. Looks like I need to move it just a little more inward center it a little bit so we have that and that yeah we're getting closer i think i actually got it a little too far in that looks not bad going by that little flower down there. Okay, now I apparently increased my saturation a little bit. Ooh, that's a little, a little crazy. Don't need it that much. Um, let's see, tip five, contrast. I bumped that just a little bit. Yellow hue. bring that to seven then that really makes our greens funky i work on my greens here in a minute so orange hue we're gonna bring to 17 it says i did i'm going by a list i went down my other the previous edits uh, numbers so yellow saturation, I think I bring this down and that brought those greens back to normal just a little bit. Orange saturation, let's see what we got here. All right. Now let's go down to the luminance panel. Uh, we're gonna do orange. We're gonna bring down the yellows just a bit and keep those from being too crazy. Greens, our green luminance. We're gonna bring up the hue in the greens. We're going to bring down just a little bit. Saturation, whoops, I was in the wrong one. Saturation, about stayed the same. Hue, 34, okay. Ooh, those greens are kind of wonky, but we're going to keep working. My radial filter, I think I want to actually maybe expand that just a little bit and bring it down. We're getting some clipping on the whites. I definitely don't want that. I want to keep some of that. Uh, detail so just a slight bringing that slight white slider down just a bit is very helpful for that um, bringing up the exposure just a little bit overall we still don't have any clipping uh, green hue let's work on that just a little more 
we're going to take that down to 41. Oops, I am getting that messed up every time. 45, we want the hues up here. The green hue, we're going to take that down by four. The green luminance by 11, so we'll do that to 34. Drop the blues just a hair. Um, the green luminance bring that up it looks like quite a bit I don't like how bright that's making that green I think I'm going to make these yellows just the hair off okay um, tint, I go up and work on that just a little bit, add a little bit of the um, magenta that takes those greens down just a hair. Um, the whites, we can bring those up just a bit, barely at all. I don't want to bring the highlights down and bring those whites back up just a little bit. Um, let's see where we're at. There's my previous final edit, and here is, let's see, I think those greens are still a bit bright. I'll bring down that luminance in the greens. I think we're pretty close. It's a little brighter than the previous edit, but I think we're real close. I'm going to bring down the highlights just a bit more. There, that helped quite a bit. I'm going to take a brush and Adds, cool down these uh, greens just a bit. In through here, I don't like how kind of bright green they are. It's a little much, right? Okay, don't get wonky on me, computer, now. Um, let's see. That's a little better. I want to see that blue again where I had that. I don't think I care for how that worked out down here. That's not looking right. That's some of those. I'm just going to delete that. So I think we're super close to the final product I had before. still quite a bit warmer. There's my other final. I think we're close. So anyway, what my main goal was was to enhance this beautiful bokeh in the background um, that the uh, Sweet, was, Sweet 50 was able to capture and kind of um, elongate those bokeh uh, lights coming through the trees, filtering through the leaves in the trees. That's where the sun was setting. Um, 
So basically I just enhanced that. I brought up some exposure. I worked on these greens a little bit. Um, we've got some good sharpness. I think I might take my sharpness on a brush, raise that up just a little bit. And here on that center point of focus, enhance that just a little bit on those wheat strands. And I'm gonna call it a day. I think coming from this, to this, is a nice change. And again, I, uh, I tend to underexpose. Um, I try not to do it tremendously, but I also, I would rather underexpose than overexpose and blow uh, these whites out that I wouldn't be able to get any detail back and uh, the, the bokeh, the sun. So I did underexpose a little bit. I, again, forgot to check my Kelvin. Um, my color temperature, unfortunately, that day, so it was way off. Um, and uh, much too cool. So anyway, I hope this was, let's see, is very long. It wasn't short at all. I apologize. And um, anyway, that's what I got. Thanks, ladies. Take care, and I will see you around the forum.